I'm right here. Hey, 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 ho, ho, it's time for Splash Pages, don't you know, with Leo Bridge, the Ghostmaster Man, 1984, Drew Mallow. Check your mirrors and check your gauges. We's are ready for Splash Pages. Excelsior! Yeah, I'm getting better with it. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Mr. Drew! Well, when the show's on, we're on, we're on. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Splash Pages. Correction. Welcome to Splash Pages. A wonderful intellectual conversation with nerds about nerds talking to nerds. We have a wonderful show for you tonight, and I'm trying so hard to be serious, but I was just sucking on a sour candy and my mouth is on fire. But without further ado, uh, I'd like to introduce our guest. Uh, he is an artist uh, extraordinaire. He's worked in comic books, he's worked in toy and packaging, he's been a designer, he's been an author, and he's also been a teacher. You've seen him on Justice League Europe, Legends of the Dark Knight, Exo Man of War, Turok Violator the Helm, The Masters, he worked on uh, Cops, G.I. Joe, World Wrestling Federation toys, Toy Biz, Ominous Press, the list goes on and on. He's been with DC, he's been with Marvel, he's been everywhere, we've seen him with a hat, without a hat, everybody, Bart Sears. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, I was really interested to figure out what uh, Spash Plages was, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the After Dark stuff. How's everybody doing? Yeah, yeah. Hey, all right, thank you so much for joining us. After hour four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Drew, uh, Bart, we, we won't keep you for, for four hours. That was definitely a joke, so... Uh... <laughs> Uh -huh. Just go into silent mode right now. Yeah, yeah. Hours. Who's setting it off today with Mr. Sears? We're, we have that legend. Oh, with we're us. going we're right into off. the interview. Okay, I'll go for so, it. Yeah, what, go we, for it, Jeremy. You said it. Right? Yeah, you know, after I just dropped all my questions on the floor, so I don't have any of them right in front of me. I'm really interested in your teaching uh, at the Hubert School, uh, mainly. Did you have any uh, students of note that you were like? or that have been become somebody that's special like yourself yeah there's uh there are quite a few um scott collins ray Crissing, uh andy smith who actually wasn't a student of mine he was in the class above uh the year above what i thought i taught second year he came down and just sat in my class every day anyways and uh let's see um uh, oh. It, what exactly was your class? Uh, I taught on Fridays, and I don't know. One was maybe methods and materials, and one I don't remember the names of them. Like they gave you a little syllabus, but I just made guys draw comic stuff. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so you kept it fun and light. I tried to, tried to best I could, anyways. Now, was it it fun for you to be able to be teaching? Yeah, yeah, it was, I mean, that was really the first time I'd ever uh, taught anybody, and I was only in the business, let's see, that was, I don't remember what year that was, 90 maybe? Hmm. So I'd only been in the, in the business, um, well, I'd been in for five years, but really only three years, pretty strongly, or maybe a little more than three, but um, yeah, I, I like teaching because it really made me think about what I do. Um, so you sit here and draw all day getting routines and you keep doing stuff but uh, you don't think about it as much and having to explain it mm -hmm. uh, to a bunch of kids that are just sponges was um uh, i don't know i think i probably learned more than they did but that's cool that well, always makes it a lot more and, enjoyable and another thing that you did that was teaching people was you did um you did you had that feature in wizard magazine brutes and babes babes yep yeah. You know, so, yeah, I lucked out uh, running into Garib right when he started the magazine, and uh, I was working for him, doing covers and stuff for a little bit. And he was like, "Hey, I got this idea to do a drawing column. You want to do one?" I'm like, "Sure." And he's like, "All right, just come up with an idea, and we'll print it." So I did Brutes and Babes, and uh, it was pretty successful. One of their most successful columns while it ran. All right. Well, yeah, and uh. And, just real quick, for, 
I, I was just going to say just real quick for Brutes and Babes and in, in uh, doing research for this, I actually downloaded a bunch of uh, uh, old wizard magazines. I still have a bunch in the closet here, uh, but it, it was really interesting to see, you know, going from your, your first issue and then as it gained in popularity, you kept on moving closer and closer to the beginning of the book. And uh, yeah, that was very interesting to see. And, you know, just the, the reviews of it were amazing. Everybody loved it. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of uh, people at shows, artists and fans alike, who, you know, over the years have just um, heaped a lot of praise on it. And I've heard a lot of people that cut out all the articles and staple them together so they could have their own little drawing book at hand. Or that, I don't know how many times, a lot of times. Uh -huh. Which was cool. And luckily yeah, I, was able to I, I remember reading one of that in one in an interview you had done that, that more than a few people had had just kind of shamelessly traced a little bit of your work but then their own style and kind of did their own book and uh and over the years so you know it's kind of like it's like oh thank you and why like be be yourself do your own thing like well don't don't be me i'm me be you well it, it's certainly you know like I, oh i'm sorry go ahead Lee. oh, oh uh, sorry just uh I, I just remembered it uh so um it was very interesting also to see like in the beginning, you know, you, you were going over some instructional pieces, but then it also merged into a lot of critiquing yeah. uh, upcoming artists and everything. I found that extremely interesting. Yeah. They wanted, they wanted contests and uh, I agreed to it, which might not have been the brightest move because we got so many entries. I mean, I would get tons of mail into my little studio in uh, North Syracuse, New York and, just took forever going over everything. It's a lot of, it was very time consuming, but pretty cool. There were a lot of, um, uh, oh man, I wish I could remember names. I should, I should write these down somewhere. But the guy that designs all the uh, <laughs> Marvel characters for the Marvel movies won, won one of the contests. Oh, uh, oh, cool. God, I can't think of his name. Oh, well. Uh, what I found was really Back cool up. while researching you. Did you know you have an entire blog? Uh, dedicated to you called Tales from a, a Bart Sears Collector? I do. That's actually a friend of mine. Uh, I met oh, him. no kidding. Yeah, he was a, a fan of mine that contacted me way back, you know, through snail mail. Um, God, this must have been in maybe Justice League days or right after. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, you know, uh, struck up a friendship. Uh, Jay Penn, he lives over in, in Ireland now. Uh, but yeah, he, he did that thing and all well, that referencing and all that uh, research and stuff. It was pretty awesome. Well, he's been slacking on it. He hasn't updated since 2019. I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> I'll let him know. <laughs>